Kai Sinet's friend just made a huge mistake. What type of mistake? I don't even know. And this is a seven minute video, so let's get right to it. At the beginning of this year, Kai Sinet made more headlines, but for all the wrong reasons. On January 5th, he was publicly accused of refusing to cooperate in a police investigation involving his friend, Jiggy Sec, who allegedly essayed a woman at Kai's New Year's Eve party. Then Chat. When I sit here and tell you, be careful who you call your friend. Matter of fact, sidebar. Yeah, S A. If you if you know, you know. I'm glad he used that context and not said the actual word, if you know what I mean. A W context. But anyways, um, yeah, you gotta be careful who you call your friend. And number two, you gotta be careful who you hang around with. I'm just saying, I tell people all the time, that term friend is something very important. It is very important. It's just as important as being in a relationship with someone. It's that deep. Especially when you get, uh, especially when you get older. Because when you in your, your teen days, nine times out of ten, those not always going to be your homies in days of that nature. I'm just saying. Be careful as to who you call your friend, and two, be careful as to who you hang around with. That's all I got to say, but anyways. The name of this woman is Jovi Pena. Jovi, who goes by the name Jovi Licious on Twitter, detailed the incident in a lengthy thread. She claims that Sec, who goes by the name Jiggy, s ate her in the upstairs bedroom during the party and provided screenshots of text messages with Kai, who appeared surprised, implying that he was trying to protect his friend. Kai directly addressed these accusations on January 8th during the Twitch stream. He talked about his friendship with Jiggy, whom he's known since high school, but he sympathized with Jovi and says that he's not taking sides. I'm not defending anybody. I'm not defending anybody. I don't know what happened. I am in the same boat as my viewers. I am in the same boat as y'all. I don't know what the f happened. But let me go ahead and say something. The person that's associated with me, I knew this guy. I'm not defending him once again. I knew this guy for a very long time. We went on multiple trips. You feel what I'm saying? Never was this. Uh, he's not that type of person. I'm not saying shit didn't happen. I'm not saying none of that. I'm not defending nobody because, bro, the way she was crying to me on that phone, bro, I'm here to help. Many people were curious as Okay. And and I like the fact that he's not taking no side of the, uh, of the situation. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. So, there, in the words of my boy Trey, shout out to my boy Trey, there's three sides of the story. You got this person's story right here. You got another person's story right here. And you got the truth. Now, one of them could be telling a lie while the other one's speaking the truth. Two of those stories, one out of those two stories, one of them's got to have to have the truth. But the fact that he's not defending nobody of the sort, he's basically keeping, keeping, keeping himself in the neutral, meaning he don't want to side nobody else, but he also don't want to side the other. Basically trying to keep it middle, middle ground keeping things completely neutral so it doesn't seem like oh i'm on this side or oh i'm on that side you get what i'm saying so but i kind of understand where he's coming from as to why kai remained silent and he added that his legal team advised him to not issue any text messages or public statements about the matter though they did give him the green light to speak about it during the stream i personally which is i understand your friend publicly after you said yourself that you didn't know what happened that night is a bad look he could have right. very well committed this crime there that's many and and that's and that's very true that's very true he could he could. That's very true. People who didn't seem like, quote unquote, that kind of person until they were. Kai said that he was just trying to get to the bottom of things, coming off as neutral, but in the same breath, defense his friend. The correct thing to right. have been to address the accusations surrounding himself alone and say mm -hmm. that it was being handled privately. Right. Let's fast forward to as recent as a few days ago. Jiggy finally responded to all the accusations surrounding his name and made a Twitter account dedicated to proving his innocence. Before I saw this new information, I was very much on the fence because there had not been any type of update as far as 
far as the case or anything in a few months. I'm never the type to jump to conclusions, but we're all human, so it's natural right. for us to have an opinion. The biggest right. part of his evidence was a video showing him and Jovi allegedly having relations, and he broke down this video in detail. When I first saw this video that I mentioned earlier, I thought of two potential scenarios that could have gone down that night. One, Jovi was essayed by Jiggy in a room that she felt safe in. Or two, Jovi and Jiggy agreed to go to that room together. Jovi gave Jiggy consent at one point and took it away. Jiggy didn't care and committed SA. Mm. W investigation. W investigation. I ain't gonna lie. These scenarios. I ain't gonna lie. This man. This man Fargo in his bag on this one. Ooh, I'm glad I'm watching this video. I'm I'm legit glad I'm watching this. I'm not gonna say a lie to you. If y'all know the context, you would know. Obviously, we can't say this in this type of, or any type of platform, but you know. If you know, you know. Hey, I'm never the type to stand on one side until everything is done and over. Exactly. The majority of the exactly. Cause cause if I'm in the situation where I hear one person's story, this person's story, I'm never in anybody's side until uh, until the final verdict comes out where okay this person did wrong and this that and x y and z and you got another person you know things of that nature so so right now i'm uh, i'm keeping it middle ground staying neutral of what's going on quote unquote court of public opinion doesn't do this and I completely understand why. When it comes to situations like this, the victim tends to tell the truth more than not, so I get it. However, in these kind of cases, the truth is almost never revealed or never right. gets taken to court. These are right. my thoughts on Jiggy's actions. I understand that you went public to clear your name, but the smart move was to handle this in court because this makes exactly. a whole nother case. Exactly. Handling it on media is one thing. It would have been better if you would have handled this out to court, at the very least. I'm not sure how the courts classify this kind of thing, but this is not a very good idea, in my opinion. That's After a fact. Recording, which I'm obviously not going to show y'all, you break down what's going w. on and point out things that relate to this being consensual in an attempt to clear your name. What I don't think you realize is that even if this was consensual in that moment, and that's a big if, a 10-second clip doesn't prove that this whole situation was consensual. She could have right. taken away consent before, after, or during the full recording which would have made you wrong either way right well could see I'm in the back shots position I'm not forcing anything It's literally being thrown at me my hands are not pinning her down they're up she has more time and opportunity to get up her knees are also bent on the bed we're on the same level I'm not forcing anything her her hands are straightforward and boom she's not sleeping she said I was on top of her when she woke up. She that's a lie. It's not like I want to see the video based on the potential context behind it, but if your goal was to clear your name or prove your innocence, this was not the way to do it. It's right. online making memes and stuff saying he came back from 3-1 and they believe that he really, you know, beat these allegations, but But it it may not been seen that way though. It may not seem that way. And this is not the smart move to, to even clear your name. This is actually make yourself look worse, in my opinion. Anyone with a brain in their head is going to be like, yo, this is not a solid argument. Like, At all. A 10 second video is just. It's not going to do it. Like, <laughs> oh, really God. Good context that you have to have for you the, basically dig yourself in a hole that you were already in now you even in a deeper hole that situation and this is why we let the cops do their job all this video shows us evidence of something taking place but in no way shape or form does he said does have uh, have lawyers and still do dump that's a fact cash i'm trying to tell you that's facts like how you got a how do you have an attorney how do you have a lawyer and still do some crazy sh what make it make sense he just wanted to show he got uh, he got to, which is weird. That which is weird, like that is a weird ass flex. Like I'm not gonna say a lot to you. A 10 second clip trying to clear your name and yet and then and then on top of that try to uh, try to sneak sneak in the fact that you got a piece. Yeah, nah, nah, buddy. That <laughs> nah, you in the wrong on this one, my boy. Even though you try to clear your name, that ain't gonna do. Does this prove that it was entirely consensual? Another thing that caught me off guard was how Jiggy used Jovi's old tweets relating to sexual things and old Facebook posts to imply that her his actions make him look guilty. Online, exactly. She called questionable. And cash. And cash. When I said this in a tweet, 
Actions are actions. Words are words. Nine times out of ten, people don't give a damn about what you say. It's what you do that and that really counts. Post showed her intentions. Now, I don't know if somebody touched her when she was younger or in the past or if it was somebody in her family because she, she we shared a lot of this years prior to the party saying stuff like she can't trust her own family but it's definitely one or the other because majority of these posts were made years ago i don't know which one is true but it has to be one of them she also talks about how she acts with just a little bit of alcohol in her system even calling herself a casa mijo what does that even mean are you a hoe off the casa this next one definitely threw me off completely what do you mean drunk you and sober you are two different people and you shouldn't suffer for her consequences? Yeah, and yeah, he's, and yeah, he's, he's moving guilty. Exactly. Proving his innocence. And, and nine times out of ten, he's going to be serving some time. This brother's going to, I can't even call, I can't even call you brother. Because, and because a, a brother like myself don't move like this. A brother like myself would never move uh, move like this at all. So I, and so I'm gonna have to take that brother call for, uh, card from you. I, I'm gonna have to take that away from you, my boy. I'm just saying. These are all general posts and tweets that he's pulling up. I can't even lie. This sounds like victim blaming. This post did nothing but hurt his argument. All it did was insinuate that she probably went through trauma when she was younger, says provocative things online, and that she drinks a lot. She could be an alcoholic and have quote unquote thought tendencies, but it doesn't equal consent, nor does it justify what happened. Remember that consent can be given and taken away at any moment. When you're drunk, there is no consent given. All right, so one thing I want exactly. to do is completely deny that SA took place because none of us know what truly happened outside of Jovi and Jiggy. What I will do is talk about some things that led to people discrediting Jovi. One, people are saying that Jovi changed her story multiple times. In the original thread, Jovi says that she was in fact drunk and fell asleep in a room that Kai said was safe. In that very same thread, she responded to a deleted comment by saying that she wasn't wasted at all, but just very tired. I ain't gonna lie, she tried to put and put Kai in the same mix as he is, low key, because everything that's been being being presented really has nothing to do with Kai, really. It really doesn't. Like, this is all on this Jovi dude. Like, am I am I wrong? Am I capping? Or am I missing something? Because she was on Jovi's head <laughs> like boy. The only or the only thing she's basically doing is trying to put and uh, trying to uh, to Kai, at the very least, is the fact that, oh, Kai has something to do with his friend, and then, boom, we just go ahead and put them both into the, in, in the pickle. But the way that I'm looking at this right now is a situation like this to uh, just re reinforce in my mind why I don't trust her. Exactly. 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 Because I don't never, I do not, I never associate myself, associate with associate myself with people that goes down this type of road. I'd be like, bro, you're tripping. You're bugging. You tripping, my boy. Like, you are tripping. Like, I'm gonna need you to uh, need you to stop what you're doing before you uh, before you really put yourself in a situation that you can't really get yourself out of. I'm just saying. Shit's kind of crazy. Two, Jovi says that she woke up with Jiggy on top of her, and people are using that 10 second clip to say that she was lying. They are also saying that she was wide awake based on how she was positioned, and the fact that she moved her head in the video. Three, Jovi said herself that she let Jiggy off the hook multiple times, even after the video was sent out to someone she knew. I've seen many people saying that Jovi's actions are unusual for a victim, and wonder why she quote unquote let him off the hook, and never decided to take him to court until the infamous video was posted. Four, Jovi says she knew Jiggy had the video before he posted it, so people are accused Accusing her of lying about everything and created the theory that she lied because she was ashamed of them sleeping together. 5. Jovi said that she would have forgiven Jiggy if he just said sorry through messages. Everything I explained earlier really made me question Jiggy's side, but then again, right. this has to be settled in court with all evidence presented. Let's exactly. just hope that same evidence doesn't get tampered with or lost. Yeah, I know mm -hmm. the court doesn't always get it right, but that same court system has given justice in the past. I'd much rather rely on the information presented by professionals than some Twitter lawyers. After Facts! Facts. Facts. Take that to the court. I'd rather have that being settled on the court 
than having that settled in a twi- uh, on Twitter fingers. Because you can't believe in everything that's being said on Twitter. You can't believe in everything. Yeah, Twitter may have some actual facts, but at the same time, there is a little bit of cap, little bit of cap going on in, uh, on Twitter. So you can't really believe in everything that's being said on Twitter. You can't believe in everything. I'm just saying. You just can't. I'm sorry. Response, I'll say that it's not some sort of irrefutable evidence or any sort of undeniable proof. It would have been a better decision to let the same lawyers who gave you the green light to post these to handle it off of social media. Once Kai made his public statement, all new evidence should have been held to be shown in court. Let me know what you think about this whole right. situation in the comments. It's Fargo, and I'm out, man. W video. W video. W investigation at that.